Welcome to the Appendix, where we read the primary sources of the past so you can better understand what is going on in the present. Today's primary resource, chartered to Sir Walter Raleigh, March 25th, 1584. English colonization in America may be dated from the letters patent to Sir Humphrey Gilbert of 1578. Under this grant, Gilbert made two efforts to establish a colony in America. Both were unsuccessful, and the second ended in the tragic death of the gallant adventurer. Sir Walter Raleigh, Gilbert's half-brother, had participated in both of Gilbert's ventures and planned to carry on the work of colonization. Six months after Gilbert's death, Raleigh received a patent couched in almost identical language as the patent of 1578. Under his charter, Raleigh sent out five expeditions to the New World and succeeded in planting the colony on Roanoke Island, Virginia. Altogether, Raleigh spent a personal fortune of some 40,000 pounds in his efforts to plant a colony in the New World but he ended his life in the Tower of London. Raleigh, writes Professor Andrews, was the first Englishman to demonstrate the practicality of transporting English men and women overseas to find new homes on a new soil. His colony of husbands and wives, mothers and nursing children represents a new departure in English history. Elizabeth, by the grace of God, England, France, and Ireland, Queen, Defender of the Faith, etc. To all people to whom these presents shall come, greeting. Know ye that our special grace, certain science, and mere motion we give and grant to our trustee and well-beloved servant, Walter Raleigh, Esquire, and to his heirs assigned forever, free liberty and science, from time to time, and at all times, forever, hereafter, to discover, search, find out, and view such remote, heathen, and barbarous lands, countries, and territories, not actually possessed of any Christian prince, nor inhabited by Christian people, as to him, shall seem good, and the same to have, hold, occupy, and enjoy to him, forever, with all prerogatives." Thereto, and thereabouts, both by sea and land, whatsoever we by our letters patent may grant. And the said Walter Raleigh, his heirs and assigns, shall go or travel thither and inhabit or remain there to build and fortify at the distinction of the said Walter Raleigh. And we do likewise give and grant with full authority, liberty, and power to the said Walter Raleigh, that he shall have, take, and lead in the said voyage, and travel thereward, or to inhabit there with him, or them, and every or any of them, such as so many of our subjects, as shall willingly accompany him or them. And further that we said, Walter Raleigh shall have all the soil of all such lands, territories, countries, so to be discovered, and possessed as aforesaid, and of all such cities, castles, towns, villages, and places in the same, with the right royalties, franchises, and jurisdictions, as well as marine, as other within the said lands, or countries, or the seas, thereunto adjoining, to be had or used with full power to dispose thereof, and of every part in free, simple, or otherwise, according to the order of the laws of England, reserving always to our heirs and successors for all services, duties, and demands the fifth part of all the ore of gold and silver that from time to time and at all times shall be there gotten and obtained. And moreover, we do give and grant license to the said Walter Raleigh, 
that he shall and may for his and their defense encounter and expose, repel, and resist all as without the special liking the license of the said Walter Raleigh shall attempt to inhabit within the said countries or within the space of 200 leagues near to the place or places within such countries or within the space of 200 leagues near to the place or places within such countries where the said Walter Raleigh shall within six years make their dwellings and for uniting a more perfect league and amity of such countries, lands, and territories, so to be possessed and inhabited as aforesaid with our realms of England and Ireland in the better encouragement of man to these enterprises, we do declare that all such countries, so hereafter, to be possessed and inhabited as aforesaid from thenceforth shall be of the alliance of us, our heirs and successors, and we doth grant to the said Walter Raleigh and to all and every of them that they, being either born within our side realms of England, shall and may have all the privileges of free denizens and persons native of England. And we do give and grant to the said Walter Raleigh that he shall, within the said mentioned remote lands, have full and mere power and authority to correct, punish, pardon, govern, and rule by their and every or any of their good discretions and policies, as well in cause capital or criminal, as civil, all such are subjects, as shall from time to time adventure themselves in the said journeys or voyages, or that they shall at any time hereafter inhabit any such lands, countries, or territories aforesaid, according to such statutes, laws, and ordinances, as shall be by him the said Walter Raleigh devised or established for the better government of the said people as aforesaid, and shall be by him the said Walter Raleigh devised or established for better government of the said people as aforesaid, so always as the said statutes, laws, and ordinances may be as near as conveniently may be agreeable to the form of the laws, statutes, governments, or policies of England, provided always, and our will and pleasure is, and we do hereby declare to all Christian kings, princes, and states, that if the said Walter Raleigh, his heirs or assigns, or any of them, or any other by their license or appointment, shall at any time or times hereafter rob or spoil by sea or by land, or do any act of unjust or unlawful hostility to any of the subjects of us, our heirs or successors, or to any of the subjects of any the kings, princes, rulers, governors, or estates, being then in perfect league with amity with us, our heirs and successors, and that upon such injury or upon such complaint of any such prince, ruler, governor, or estate, or their subjects, we, our heirs and successors, shall make open proclamation within any the ports of our realm of England that the said Walter Raleigh, his heirs and assigns, and adherents, or any to whom these our letter patents may extend, shall within the terms to be limited by such proclamations make full restitution and satisfaction of all such injuries done, so as both we and the said princes or other so complying may hold us and themselves fully contented, and that if the said Walter Raleigh, his heirs and assigns, shall not make or cause to be made satisfaction accordingly within such time so to be limited, that then it shall be lawful to us, our heirs and successors, to put the said Walter Raleigh, his heirs and assigns and adherents, and all the inhabitants of the said places to be discovered, as is aforesaid, or any of them out of our allegiance and protection, 
and that from and after such time of putting out of protection the said Walter Raleigh, his heirs, assigns, and adherents, and others so to be put out, and the said places within their habitation, possessions, and rules, shall be out of our allegiance and protection, and free from all princes and others to pursue with hostile, and princes and others to pursue with hostility, as being not our subjects, nor by us any way to be avouched, maintained, or defended, nor to be holden as any of ours, nor to our protection or dominion, or allegiance any way belonging. For that express mention of the clear yearly value of the certain of the premises of any part thereof, or of any other gift or grant by us, or any other progenitors or predecessors to the said Walter Raleigh, before this time made in these presents, be not expressed, or any other grant, ordinance, provision, proclamation, or restraint, to the contrary thereof, before this time given, ordained, or provided, or any other thing, cause, or matter, whatsoever, in any wise, notwithstanding. In witness thereof, we have cause, these are letters to be made patents, witness ourselves at Westminster, the 25th day of March, in the 6th and 12th year of our reign. Thank you for joining us on the appendix. We hope that you enjoyed today's primary source. We'll see you in the stats.